obviously welcome back to another youtube video guys today's video i'm going to be showing you what's inside my law box i haven't been posted for like two months already so obviously i'm going to show you what's inside my law box today i did try a few days like a couple weeks ago um to try to catch a fish on the camera but obviously it didn't work out that time but obviously today i'm going to be showing you what's in my law box like i just said but um i've got quite a few laws in here obviously it's packed to the rim now but um obviously i've got a few now and I'm, I'm running out of room but I'm going to show you what's in there for now before I start to, before I start picking and choosing what goes in my lower box for each session because obviously I'm, I'm going to have too many eventually but yeah so I'm going to get into the video in a second thanks for watching the intro make sure you like subscribe and watch the full video turn on post notifications and I'll make some more videos you know what I mean okay so obviously I'm going to open up my lower box now um so it's packed to the rim packed to the rim now I struggle to fit most of the laws in but we're going to start off with um this little compartment here, this one's got no laws in it, but I've got this little spot. I've got my cork screws and stuff in here. There's a few hooks in that. Well, so I'm not going to open that up. I've got these packets and stuff. Make sure to follow the law box, you know what I mean? Because I kept that card in there for some reason. So these things just got traces and swivels and stuff. A couple of spare compartment slide things for the box. The box I'm using is Daiwa box, by the way. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to chuck that back in there. Let me start with this compartment here, the front one. We'll see this the other corner. So this one. First of all, we've got a gated gum 12 centimeters. Haven't actually tried out this one yet. I just got this in the post yesterday. Most of the stuff in this compartment here is new. I did I did um wait for the stuff to come in the post for me to do this video because obviously I love the gated gum stuff. But um yeah, we've got some kind of greatest um mini mini flat nose shads, that's what they're called. Yeah, I've got like five of them left. I, I haven't been using them quite a lot. But you see on the top here they tear a little bit so it's lucky they come with a pack of 10 there's a gate gun 12 centimeters this obviously I, th I think this is going to be my favorite color out of all three of this because i got the multi-color pack of 12 centimeter gate guns i think this there's one here it's going to be lovely color for in the dark water but um see i've got gonna get some more out this one here i like the look of this color too that's why i've already rigged that one up so I've got the green one and this one already rigged. Then I've got a load more at the bottom here. These are all 9 centimeter gate gums, by the way. My favourite, my favourite um, length of gate gum. So I've got all of these ones. Have the most, of, the most of one colour I have is these red ones. Quite like this colour. Big thanks to gate gum and the lobbox to send these out to me. All of my gate stuff here has been sent by gate gum and the lobbox. Got a gator. Yeah, but thanks to them. But yeah, I've got plenty, plenty now. So see, that's that compartment there. That's that's done for that compartment. It's just full of gated gums and stuff. It's just all of this is sent to you by the lower box, so it's lovely, really. Yeah, but this compartment here, I'm gonna start with this one. So the first lure I got in this one is the ready rigged um, Savage Gear Reel, 30 centimeters. This this is quite a nice guy. I haven't actually caught on this one yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. When the winter comes, this one's gonna be back to the big lures. Obviously, I like the big fish in the winter. And then got a couple of these 19 centimeters um, Savage Gear Heron Chads. Just rigged it with a stinger, with a couple of trebles, with a 10 gram quartz screw in the head. I think this is a perch pattern and this is a um, pipe pattern. But I have, um, these are quite nice laws. I like the swimming action on these. Nice, nice, nice law. Got a couple of these Savage Gear River Roaches. 18 centimeter river roach. I'm not sure what pattern this is, but it's definitely, I've caught a couple on them actually. And then I've got this one here, which is a 14 centimeter Fox Rage Pro Shad. I've caught a couple on this one, I think, too. And then the next, next one. Oh, let's put another lure. These two here, I just got sent these the other day by SPF Bates. Um, these are. 15 centimeter pig nose sheds. I haven't actually tested these out in the water yet, but I will do this weekend because these are bound to catch me a few fish. They just look beautiful. Like the colours on this one too here, like the colour. Look at that. Nice and dark in the murky water. It's gonna stand out. It's gonna stand out. Just trust me on that one, yeah. Obviously, yeah. got the classic Savage Good, Savage Good line through roach. I think it's the 17 centimeter version. It's that lovely, like 70 grams, something like that. Um, most of these Savage Gear laws I have here were actually sent to me by um, Rob, Robbie Northman, Northman, a nice guy he is. 
I missed him for a while and he just he said he got some spare laws he could send me because you know I'm just a young guy so I don't have as many laws as I did back then but now I have loads but this one is a Savage Gear Burbot I think I had a couple on this one too I, got, I think I got a big teeth mark on this one somewhere yeah here yeah, this is a big one big teeth mark but did, didn't really get marked too much and then I got um, Savage Gear Heron Shad 16 centimeters. This one I rigged with a Savage Gear Punch rig, 15 gram one of them. So that's the, that's the first row. All of this already in the box. It's packed, I'm telling you. Okay. That? So, Gator Gum again, 22 centimeter Gator Gum. I'm not sure what pattern this is, but I haven't actually caught on this pattern just yet. I haven't actually tried it, but it's, it's a beautiful lot. It's a beautiful, beautiful lot. Can't no word of doubt, man. You know what I mean? There we go. This one, Gator Gum, 22 centimeters again. Caught on this one like a few weeks ago. Got some nice teeth marks in it now. Lovely jubbly. I should actually bang out my old 18 centimeter Gator Gum. That was full of teeth marks. That one caught me loads of fish. Yeah, the next thing we've got here is this flipping. Oh, it's tangled still. This is actually pretty annoying to be honest when it gets tangled like this. But yeah, this is um, Savage Gear 4D Lip Law. I think that's what it's called. In a roach pattern. I think I had one or two in this one. Yeah, it's pretty mashed up. Hit a few bridges, you know what I mean? Happens, happens. This one here is a snaggle tooth, I'm not sure what it's called, but just snaggle tooth law. It's a surface law, surface popper. And of course, like, I've had a, I've had a couple on this. I've, I, it was in the dark though, so I didn't get any footage or nothing like that. It's, it's got a nice crack down the middle too, because this one hit a bridge too. I, I do hit quite a lot of bridges, you know. When you're out fishing, it's just natural you hit a bridge. This one here, this is a real eel. I'm saving this one for the winter, I don't want to lose it. Uh, Savage Gear really old 30 centimeters. The blue pattern, I haven't actually caught on this one yet. Not yet. But I've rigged it with two trebles in the bottom and a shallow screw. My favourite way to rig really old. This one here, 12.5 centimeter um, Savage Gear LB Roach. 10 gram quartz screw in the head and uh, one treble on the bottom. This one's lovely jubbly. Obviously, um, this one here, DB Shed. Um, I'm not going to say too much about this one, I haven't um, caught a fish on it yet, but it, it has, um, the paint has been peeling, you know, it was his first, it was the first um, one using this new paint stuff, so you can't can't blame him for that, it was just learning, you know, but it's definitely, definitely still going to catch, paint, paint does not affect the movement or the catch rate of the lure, but yeah, it's definitely going to catch, just, trust me, trust me, yeah, obviously, got this mouse lure too. You may have seen on my Instagram, if you don't have to really follow that, it's obviously it's Tyler the Angler. I'll put a link in the description, maybe, if I, if I remember. But obviously, I had a new mouse recently, but so I, I lost that on the first day. I lost the new mouse on the first day, so I did actually cry about that, because it was a beautiful lure. And obviously, it went straight into a tree, it was a bit too high for me to get it. And um, obviously, I couldn't climb up the tree because my wrist was recently broken. And obviously it's a bit too fragile at the moment, so yeah, I did cry about that one, I think. Well, just don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, this one here, just got this one yesterday too. The 18 centimeter gay gum. Rigged that up, lovely jubbly. This is going to catch me a few fish. Shallow screw, lovely jubbly. Oh, sh this one here, yeah. Um, 18 centimeter Fox Rage Jointed Pro Shad, I think that's what it's called. I rigged this one with two trebles on the bottom. But I didn't think the one was enough. And then 10, 10 gram cork tree. That's actually upside down somehow. Never mind. Yeah, but I've got 10 gram cork screw on that one. Uh, I've had a couple of fish on this one. But the next one. Oh, oh, yeah, let's get that one. So I got 15, 15 centimeter cannibal shad. Shadow of sport cork screw with a um, little chub on the bottom again. Um, this one here. I got 12.5 centimeter Savage Gear 4D Trout, I think it's 4D Rattle Trout. The rattle smashed in that. And I got, this one's still got a rattle on it. 
And this one had a big hit on it too. Big, big, nice fish. So it's got a few cuts on the tail there and there. Yeah, a couple of these ones. 17.5 centimeter 4D rattle trouts. I think I've got this, the albino trout version, and this is the rainbow trout, I think. But this is rainbow, rainbow trout too. A few more baits left in the box. So this one is a Savage Gear 4D. Don't know. Skip that one. Not, I don't even know what that's called. But it's it's a similar to the lip blow without a lip, so it's not crank bait. It's similar to this one here, but it hasn't got a lip. This one here is but um SFS baits. I think it's called a grub tail or something like that. Not really too sure. Oh my god. Grub tail. Um I've used this a few times. I've had a few hits but nothing landed because it is quite a fat bait so the local pike can't take that too far in. The last two baits. You know. Last two baits in my box here. So I'm gonna talk about this one first. So I was talking to Robertson's Laws, yeah, about, um, oh my god, is that a rabbit? That's nah, not, it's not, it's not. Yeah, so I was talking to Robertson, it was a bird, by the way, if you didn't, I didn't say rabbit for sure. But obviously, I was talking to Robertson's Laws, and um, he offered to send me out this um, bream, <coughs> bream law. It's bloody heavy, 150 grams, you know. But when the winter comes, this one's going to catch me a nice fish, I can tell you that for sure. Obviously, I think the biggest fish he said was caught on one of these bream laws before was 40 pound pike. And he's had catfish on it too. Well, maybe not him himself, but that when he sent them out to people, they have caught on them. It's, it's a beautiful law though. But just uh, got the blood patterns on it, tail. If I don't lose it, it's gonna last me a lot. It's gonna catch me a, bit, a lot of fish. This one here, yeah? Came in a post yesterday. Bloody, look at that. Nice rat on it. So this one is a 12 centimeter western swim um, in the pink headlight color. This is the one that I asked the little box for after I, I won the giveaway on Instagram Live. Because obviously um, I was I just tuned into the live right at the end and I last I won the last giveaway. They were doing a few before they were doing it to the Canal Greatest. That's how I got these these um mini flat nose shads. But yeah, I, I did it western yesterday. I, don't know if, if you, I think it was last week maybe. Yeah, I was doing for Weston, so I just popped in there live quickly, and it was just um, first person to type a word, and I, I think I got it right. I think I got it first. I mean, I'm not sure. But yeah, they just sent me out this. I just picked what pattern and what size swim I wanted, and it just came the next week. It's lovely. It's basically yeah. Uh, I've run out of laws, but I'm going to show you the stickers that are on the front of my law box because you know, might as well. So obviously it is a or low box if you didn't realise. Um, I got Savage Gear sticker there, five star baits, um, Western, I got a Western Scandinavia one there, SFS SPF baits, and then I got um, DB Fishing, here's one. I got Leech, I got another Leech one there, Gator Leech. I got Smudge Legs too. I've got a lot more stickers at home, but um, I'm running out of room on the front. I might get a bucket and just stick loads of stickers around in the bucket. Yeah, obviously, yeah, if I get a bucket, I'll just stick all loads of stickers around. But obviously, this all my laws I have in the box when I take out fish with me is pretty heavy, you know. My back, it's, it's, it's aching by, by the time I get home, you know. Like, it's about to fall off. If I, if I didn't get, like, I'm probably going to get a hunchback by the time I'm 20. But, you know, it will do, it will do. As long as I catch a few pike every now and then, it will work. I'm happy. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of laws. I'm not going to, like, lift them up or nothing, because I'll probably get stabbed in the hand. But, obviously, make sure you get some gator gums, man. Because, obviously, gator gums, you don't understand. If you don't have one, you're doing something wrong. If you're not catching, just get a gator gum. You'll catch. It's just how it works. I don't know what happens, but it's just legendary law. Every time I go out with gator gums, I just catch them. But, yeah. Thank you for watching this YouTube video if you made it this far. Obviously, let me know in the, in the comments if you like how confident I've been in this video because obviously I got a few um, comments and a few people telling me that I need to be more confident in the video. So maybe just make it a bit better, I don't know. But just let me know in the comments. I'll turn the comments on, you know. But you know, just make sure you like and you're subscribed because if you're not subscribed, obviously, shush. Yeah?
Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure um, to leave a like on the video too, because obviously you have to like the video. If you don't, if you don't, if you watch the video and don't like it, just shush. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, yeah.